This is a sign that we've all seen a lot lately. Businesses are forced to shut down for health reasons. The thing is, these businesses still have bills to pay, loans, utilities. They need to forecast their cash flow, even in these conditions. So let's imagine a restaurant. So for a restaurant, this is the cash flow that they were forecasting before COVID-19. And now this is the new cash flow that the restaurant is forecasting by taking online orders only. Okay. Now with oil and gas companies, they're considering which wells to shut in and also what their new production forecasts and cash flow will look like for the field. So imagine if you could consider your forecast for different shut-in scenarios at the field level in just seconds. And that's what we're going to talk about today, using Harmony engineering software to understand the impact of shutting wells in from both the field level and all the way down to the well level. Now this is a 400 well oil example in Harmony and the operator on their own has determined that these wells are economic at $50 per barrel. These wells are economic at $40 per barrel. And these wells are economic at $30 per barrel. And what they want to do is they want to forecast the total production at the field level, considering shutting in wells that are not economic. So they're going to have three different forecast consolidations, depending on which scenario they want to look at. How do we do that in harmony? Well, first we need to give each well a forecast. So we can look at a single well here. Do our rate time plot, add a decline. Okay, it's, it's, it's that easy. But if we're talking about hundreds or even thousands of wells, it'd be nice if we can automate that process. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So if I pick all these wells that are economic at $30 per barrel, we can apply an automatic decline workflow. It's only going to take a few seconds. In fact, I have got another video that shows how to do this on a thousand wells, and it only takes a few minutes. Okay, now every well has a decline, has a forecast, and we need to roll up and consolidate these. So if we take only the wells that are economic at $30 per barrel, we can go ahead and do a forecast consolidation, adding up all those individual declines that each well has. And this is our consolidated forecast of only the wells that are economic at $30 per barrel. Now I've gone ahead and done an auto decline on all 400 of these wells. And so we can go to the wells that are economic at $40 per barrel and do the same field level forecast consolidation of all the individual declines of those wells. And this is it. And the same thing for all the wells that are at $50 per barrel. So how do these compare? Well, this is the total field level forecast of all, all 400 wells that are economic at $50 per barrel. This is the consolidated forecast at the field level of only the wells that are economic at $40 per barrel, and then the few wells that are economic at $30 per barrel. So at the end of the day, you need to be able to forecast your production at the field level using different scenarios of wells flowing versus being shut in. And just like I showed you here, Harmony lets you do this in the most efficient way possible. All right, let's uh, change gears for a second now. Next, we're going to talk about well shut-ins, not from the field level, but all the way down to the well and pad level. And we're really going to focus on the topic of sharing. Okay, now this is my brother, my sister and I, and anyone who has siblings knows that sharing requires compromise, sharing a room, sharing a meal, sharing a gift with each other. When I was 12, my siblings got really lucky because my parents shipped me off to military school. That's me right here. And for my siblings, this was good. It meant less sharing, more room for them, more everything for them, actually. Yeah, this is me down here in the bottom at military school. Now, for my brother and sister, this was great. There was one less person that they had to share with. Wells have the same experience. If one of them is shut in, kind of like I was sent off to be reformed, the wells that keep producing don't have to share any of their oil or gas with that shut-in well. 
Now, what if engineers could predict this impact? It'd be really helpful. And that's exactly what we're going to do with Harmony right now. So we're going to look at a three well pad. This, this pad's been producing for a bit. And the middle well here, it has the lowest productivity as we determined with our rate transient analysis. And we want to predict three things if we were to shut in this middle well, the least productive. This is kind of like when I left the family and got sent off. And then this is my brother and my sister. They're going to stay home. They're going to keep producing. What we want to predict is what will the new forecast at the pad level be if we shut in the middle well? All right, because these, these wells are all sharing. Uh, the next thing we want to ask is how will the remaining wells that keep producing, how will they be impacted by shutting in the middle well? Meaning they won't have to share as much. So how will, how will they perform now? if they keep producing. And finally, if we turn the middle well back on in three months, six months, 12 months, a year, two years, how will its forecast look like? Okay, so we're going to answer all these things in Harmony right now. Okay, so we're in Harmony now. We have our numerical multi-well reservoir model built here. And we can see we have well one, well two, well three. And First thing we're going to do is do a forecast of the entire three well pad, assuming there'll be no shut ins. So we're seeing the depletion that's going to occur, how the wells are going to communicate with each other on the pad. And this is our first scenario. OK, it's done. So it's just finished a 30 year forecast. And that's great. Now we want to consider what happens if we shut in that middle well, the least productive well. OK. So we can, we can decide whether we want it to continue or we want it to turn off uh, after one month, after two months, and that's what we're going to do here. I've scheduled it to be shut in in two months into the forecast. So we're doing our new forecast to see how the wells will now communicate with each other and how they have to share that pressure and that oil if the middle well is shut in and we're done. We finished our 30-year forecast that quickly. What about the results? Okay, so... What we're looking at here is the total oil and gas forecast for the pad, all three wells together. So on the left, this is our production history, the noisy data, and this is our oil forecast for all three wells. And then this drop is when the middle well is going to be shut in and only the two outside wells continue producing. Let's compare the results. Okay, so this is the total cumulative oil that we'll get from the pad if there's no shut-ins. Or if we shut in the middle well, this will be the new cumulative oil production from the pad with only the outer wells continuing. So we can very quickly and easily quantify the new reliable forecast from the pad level considering the sharing that's going to be occurring. Okay, so that's question number one answered. What will our pad forecast be by shutting in the middle well? The next question is, how will those remaining wells, the, the, the outer wells, produce and perform with the middle well being shut in? And just to illustrate what I'm talking about, if we don't shut any wells in, each well has to share the oil that's in the ground. But if we shut in a well and disable it, now there's less sharing. This is kind of like me being sent off to military school and my brother and my sister, they don't have to share as much. So there's some benefit for them, right? Let's see what this means in the reservoir. Okay, so this is well number one. The well on the left is going to keep producing. And this is well one's oil forecast, only well one, if it does have to share, meaning this is what well number one will produce if there are no shut-ins in the pad. Okay, this means it has to share with its neighbor. Instead, if we shut in the middle well, well number one will benefit. It doesn't have to share as much oil with its neighbor well. And so well number one will get a new forecast if the middle well is shut in. And we can quantify this in harmony using this fast numerical reservoir model very quickly. What about well number three? This is the other outer well that will remain on production. So this is that well number three, the outer well, what its cumulative oil will be into the future 
if there's no shut-ins, or if the middle well is shut in, this outer well will benefit because it has to share less with the shut-in well. Okay, so we can quickly see this all in harmony. Now, the final question we wanted to answer is, after the shut-ins are over and we bring the well back online, the middle well, right? It's been shut in. How will it perform once we bring it back on? So by scheduling the shut-in well to come back on after three months, we can see its initial rate will be 160 barrels per day and that one it will decline. Or if we wait longer and we keep it shut in for a longer amount of time, its rate will be a little bit higher when we turn it back on. Okay, 180 barrels per day. And then if we keep it shut in for 12 months, its rate will be 190 barrels per day. And this is simply because the pressure is recharging a little bit around the fractures of the shut-in well, kind of giving it some new flush production after it uh, gets turned back on. Okay? So this is all done in Harmony Enterprise. Now, just in summary, okay? When you have siblings, you have to share, right? When I left and went away, my siblings had to share less. And with wells, it's the same. They have to share. So Harmony lets engineers answer these important questions of how the well and pad will respond to shut-ins, spending just a fraction of the software cost that's typically needed to answer these kinds of questions using cumbersome reservoir simulators. Now, businesses need to forecast their cash flow before COVID-19 and during COVID-19, just like that restaurant needed to forecast its cash flow for diners coming in or doing online orders only. Now with Harmony, you are able to actually forecast your production from the field level using different forecast roll-ups or consolidations using different shut-in scenarios. Okay, and that's it. I really want to thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Harmony, or how you can perform these tasks, just contact me or your account manager. I'm going to leave you with three related videos that I hope you'll find valuable to shut-ins. And these links to see these are right in the description. Okay, so I do a bunch of weekly video episodes, kind of like this one. Episode number 38, it's about how you can use Harmony to predict the pressure buildup if you shut your well in. And this is to explore a lot of the unknowns and uncertainties that come about your wells. You know, what if I don't know my permeability? What if my bubble point uh, has some uncertainty, okay? So if you wanna predict your buildup pressure during a shut-in, check out episode number 38. If you wanna look at how to combine RTA and PTA to add certainty to your reservoir characterization and your forecast, check out episode number 42. It's for tight gas, but it can work with a lot of different types of reservoirs. And this one I think is maybe the most important or interesting. A lot of people have overpressured reservoirs and there can be a geomechanical effect, kind of a productivity loss as your drawdown is occurring. So check out episode number 46. It's gonna show you the value of a buildup to calibrate and better describe your reservoir and your completion. Okay, I think it's a really nice one. And that's it. Again, thank you for your time. Any questions, I look forward to working with you.